Hello and welcome to another instructional video from iftaboss.com. Today we're going to show you how to calculate state miles uh, using the Copilot GPS program version 8 and how to then automatically upload them into iftaboss. Opening Copilot, the area that you're going to use is the plan or edit trip area. And we're going to make up a new trip here from, say, Portland to Phoenix. To Philadelphia. And we're going to finish in Vancouver because I want to get some Canadian miles in here. Click on Show Route. We're going to use PC Miler Practical Truck Routing. Once you've calculated the route, you will see the distance, uh, in this case 6,697 miles. Click on Options and State Mileage Report. This will now open the State Mileage Report showing the miles that were driven in each jurisdiction for this trip, including your uh, Canadian miles down here at the bottom. At this point, you can either hit Control A on your keyboard to select all, or you could use your mouse and left click holding the left mouse button down. You could then drag and select all. And then either hit Control C to copy or right click and copy with your mouse. You can use any spreadsheet program now at this point to spreadsheet your miles. It could be Microsoft Excel, like I'm using now. It could be the free Google Docs program. It could be the free Calc program or the free LibreOffice program. There are plenty of spreadsheet programs out there. Use the one that uh, you prefer. And then paste our table into there. It's very important in your spreadsheet program that you leave row one, which is the header row, alone, except for the word ferry. Change that to fuel. By doing that, we're able to then enter our fuel purchases here in this column for the trip. So for instance, Minnesota, let's say 300 gallons. New Mexico, we got 250 gallons. At any area off to the right, from column F and forward to the right, you can put notes, whatever you want them to be, such as dispatch 9432 and driver John M. Equally as important now is to save this file as a CSV file. So when you give it a name, I'm just going to save it in my downloads folder and I'm going to name it uh, Q3 John M. It's very important that you change the file type to CSV or it's not going to work on Iftaboss. Comma delimited type of file. Okay, I've saved our spreadsheet onto the hard drive. Going to go back to iftaboss.com. Now, once you are logged in, click on My IFTA Switchboard and then click on Upload. By the way, notice we don't have a Q3 return currently in the site. Upload. The format, of course, again, is going to be Copilot. Choose the year, choose the quarter, choose which truck, and then you can give this trip a name if you want, or you can leave it blank. I'm going to call it uh, Dispatch 432, and we're going to say it was John M. 
select file and you're going to choose the file that you saved earlier. I've saved a couple of them here today. Upload. Upload completed successfully. This means that the format of your spreadsheet was correct. You did not change anything that would have prevented uploading. Um, if you have multiple trips over here in Copilot and you want to put them all in one spreadsheet, that's fine. But just remember what we said about that header row. If you're going to put in more than one trip, don't copy the header row. Or copy it all, paste it into your spreadsheet, and delete the header row. So once again, the header row is only on row one. You could put in as many more trips as you like on this same spreadsheet. Just make sure you delete the header row. And we'll put some notes off to the side here, like a different dispatch number. And so forth. So you could make one giant spreadsheet if you wanted, or you could use an individual spreadsheet, individual files that you saved for each trip. I'm going to now save these changes that we just did. Go back over to Iftaboss. This time I'm going to replace previously imported data. And that's because we changed our spreadsheet. We added a lot more miles to it. So I don't want to re-import these same miles over the top of my previous one. I want to go back here and check this box that says replace previously imported data for this truck and this quarter. Once again, I'm going to select that same file. Now that it's changed, and upload again. Upload successful. Now notice when we go back to our returns, we now have a Q3 return there. When we view that return, here are all of the miles from our trips without having to enter them one at a time. And as always, go to the bottom, click Final Report, and you will get the final tabulated report that you can then print or email to yourself for use in filing your IFTA taxes. Thank you very much.